Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from The Verge, and uh, we got a quick look at Skype for Windows Phone. Okay, so we're just going to launch the app here from the home screen. And you can see there'll be a little bit of a Skype animation to begin with. And then you'll be re uh, presented with your sort of recent list here. So you get recently missed calls or chats and all that sort of stuff. Um, and there's a notification at the top there just to s signify that as well. Um, if we swipe across to contacts, you get a full list of all your Skype contacts. Uh, you can obviously go in, you can chat with them. So if you hey. And you can swipe across again to get their profile and their profile image there. Um, let's just try a call to Jamie. So th there doesn't seem to be any sort of search on the UI here, but um, you've got the sort of classic search where you can go in and tap on the actual uh, letters to get to the contacts. So let's just go and chat to Jamie. And uh, we'll actually try and give him uh, call him on the video here. Now what you'll notice is it, it automatically spins it to horizontal, so you haven't got a vertical view there, but when you go into chat, it kind of, it takes it back out of that. So let's just see what... Hey Jamie, you, have you got your video? Okay, so um, here's the video here, there's not, there's not much uh, in terms of customization, so you can't, you can't drag this window around. Uh, you've still got the notifications at the top there. Um, but it's fairly clear. Um, do you want to move around, Jamie? Like dance, come on. <laughs> there you go, disco Jamie. Um, but yeah, it's fairly fluid. I mean, it's, it's working pretty good there. So, and you can swipe across to get to the chat, obviously end the call, or switch it back to just a, a standard audio call there at the bottom. So we're just going to say goodbye, Jamie. Thank you. Okay. But um, as I say, it was, it was kind of strange that it's fixed in... Uh, the landscape mode there. But, um, now if we go back to recents, uh, we can go to the calling interface here. So you can also use the application to dial a standard number, so a mobile or, or a landline. Okay, um, so one thing we've noticed is it doesn't appear um, that Skype can run in the background, so it can't accept uh, calls when you're in another application, for example. So let's just demonstrate how that works at the moment. So we're just gonna try and call the phone here and you get the, uh, the call dialogue here. Now if we actually just quit out of the application, you, you'll see that it's, it's canceled the call. Um, so if we try and initiate a call now, there will be no sort of notification on the Windows Phone side. So it's ringing on the Skype client here. And we're just waiting. And what, what we'll probably hear in a minute, I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up. The person who you're trying to speak is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. So you, um, so you get some kind of uh, Skype voicemail, which um, we haven't signed up for, so we don't know what's going on there. Um, but it, it, it works well when you're actually in the client, so um, we'll show you that now. You can obviously accept the call, and then you can change it into a uh, video call. I think. Oh no, that's the mute button. Okay. So you can turn the camera on, but again, it's going to go horizontal. Right. And you can also turn the camera on and switch camera, so you can have the, the uh, rear-facing camera. Um, but overall, it's a pretty decent app um, for a first look at Skype for Windows Phone.